we're going to be changing the fill valve today on the toilet and the first thing I want to go into is I'm going to give you a little heads up I've changed many of these in the past I've always went with this one it's the only one that Home Depot offered and quite frankly it went bad every time too quickly I mean this sucker is lucky if it lasts six months I don't know what it is with this one but this one just seems to be a cheaper model it's got the gray color here I do not recommend this model now Fluid Master is supposed to be a good company so I'm going to go ahead and try their Pro Series I went to a, a better hardware store I went to a different hardware store and they recommended this one you notice this is black so this is different it's Pro Series we're hoping that this one's going to work a lot better than this one so save yourself some money do not buy this one it's got gray here basically I guess this is their their lower model level go up to go up and get the better model the Pro Series model get this one that's what uh, the uh, hardware guy recommended me to do so now we're going to go and we're going to change the fill valve pretty simple job I think you can do it let's go Hello. here we are we're going to be taking this one out it leaks what happens is they just for somehow then they just start leaking all the time wasting water making a lot of noise so we're taking it out first thing you need to do is turn the valve off down here so we turn the valve off. This is the water valve. That's it. We're going to turn the valve off and then we're going to undo that plastic connector there. Undo the plastic connector that hooks up to the inner inside there. So you turn this valve off and first if we're going to empty the water, first we empty the water out of the bowl and then we're going to get a bucket here we're going to get a bucket down here to catch any water when we undo this so these are the first steps turn this off empty the buck, empty the water in the tank put a bucket here loosen that up that's our first step well as you can see we've emptied out all the water in there, the majority of it, there's still a little bit left there that's why we have a bowl underneath there to catch the water when we take it out. As you can see, they, they do come with instructions. Pretty simple job. It's problem is is getting in. Sometimes it's a little tight place to get to. So now we just you undo this, and as you do this, there'll be a little bit of water come out. There'll be a little water leaking. That's why we have a bowl here. If you have a higher toilet, you could maybe put a, a bucket under there. We got it undone. All you have to do is pull this up. And as you can see, it pours right out of there. Hopefully it's all going to go under the bucket down there. We got a little bowl. And just in case the bowl gets over full, we have you make sure you put a little towel down so that's the old one there's the new one now all we have to do is put the new one in there tighten it up attach the drain tube to there this is very simple now if you notice here the old one this toilet's a bowl the, the tanks a little lower so we're gonna have to lower this see how this is lowered so I'm gonna show you how to lower this what you do is you put your hands here and here and all you do is push this down you push this down a little lower see how that's and then this thing should lock it in place make sure you keep this Make sure you keep this on here. Do not do not remove this. It's very important. That locks this in place. So it's very easy to move this. 
slide this shaft down here, then push this down to make sure it's locked. And that's all set to go. Now we're ready to put this in. There's your rubber seal. Make sure you have your rubber seal that goes into the tank. This thing, then when we're under there, this goes into the tank. This is the on the bottom of the tank. All we do is screw this down, then hook up the water hose, and that's all there is to it. It's very simple. The next step, you make sure, you, you, like I said, you have that rubber piece here before we put it down in the hole. Now, it was very simple. You put the hose in, right, you connect the hose here, and then this piece, the hose is connected there. So now I'm going to show you how this goes in. So all you do is push this in the hole. You see, it's, you see how it's in the hole? Kind of make sure this is out of the way of your steel bar. This thing here, all this does, you see that little slot, all this, that little slot there, slides right into here. So all you do is that slide that in there. And if you notice, the water will come out in, into here. When the, when the water, when the, when the toilet tank is filling up, the water comes through this hose, comes down here and down this pipe. That's how the toilet tank fills up. So now this is in place. That slot that slid in there, it's the right level. Now all we have to do is tighten the screw on the bottom, connect the water. Voila, we're almost done. Show you down here. That there's that first nut you have to put on. You can actually put that on. Tighten it up as, as tough as you can with your fingers. It is plastic, so if you put a wrench on it and over tighten it, it'll break. Try to do that as tight as you can with your fingers. And then all this is the one, your water supply. So then all we do is tighten this up. As you can see, we're tightening that up. And then you turn your water on, leak check it, and it really is that simple. It really is. It's just in a very hard spot to get to, usually. Um, we'll, now we'll go ahead and leak test. And there we go. It's starting to fill up now, as you can hear it. The water, you may not be able to see it, but the water is going in there. Okay, it just turned off. And it looks like it's about the right level. And you notice it's not leaking, so we're happy. See, the old ones, they just, after they come up like this, the water's supposed to stop, of course. The old ones, after they break, the water just keeps on going, and you're leaking water, and you're wasting water. And that's why I say, in the beginning, I told you not to buy the cheaper model. You'll save yourself some, you'll save money by not wasting water by buying a better one, by the pro model. And yeah, I'm a, uh, so far, so good, I'm happy with the pro model. So, uh... Good luck on your projects and stay calm.